Fabulous. Fabulous. Fabulous the best. Wow. That was very good. <sighs> Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Daily Porcupine, the ultimate Kotoko fan channel. I, I, as you can see that we have won that particular game. It was interesting the way the game ended. But I think truth be told that it wasn't a very good performance from Asante Kotoko. We missed a lot of chances. We should be at least 3-0, 4-0 up. Several chances missed. Situations where we can pass the ball and just tap in. The players were just shooting and shooting. Even the one we passed to Mukwala, he missed. But I think it's a debut to forget for Steven Mukwala. But I'm very happy that Isaac Opong got the last goal and Kotoko got the win in Bene. Second leg is going to be an interesting game. I think it's going to be an interesting game in Kumasi. The fans will be coming out to support the boys. Um, everyone will be at the stadium. The pressure, the atmosphere, everything will be booming like very hot because... Kotoko is back in town and they'll be playing in a, they'll be playing an African competition in Kumasi. So I think it's going to be an interesting game to see how Kotoko will perform in the second leg because this uh, first leg was not that good. But let's talk about the things I noticed in the game. First of all, I think Sharif Mohammed, the new centre-back, is very good. I think he's understanding um, the way Kotoko play and his partnership with Yusuf Mubarak has been in, in, crucial. Tereku looked promising and I think Richard Boydou worked very hard in the midfield today. He was everywhere, workaholic. Richmond Lamsey tried, but I, I'm sure that, you know, he would expect to play full-time and, you know, help the team get that goal. But I don't think today was his best performance for Kotoko. But I think Richmond Lamsey played pretty okay before he got injury and left the pitch. George Vrege was just coming back from injury. You can see that he's not himself. He's not 100% fit, but he played pretty okay. Enoch Morrison played pretty well. I think he played pretty well and we should applaud him. I think he had a very nice debut. Mukwala on the other hand, mm, not looking good, but I think uh, he has to learn from his mistakes and, you know, bounce back because we know how um, Fuege started sorry, we know how Frank Mbella started and how he later tore apart the Ghana Premier League um, at Kotoko. And then as for Isaac Opong, the star boy Isaac Opong, the star boy if you watch my preview, I told you guys that Isaac Opong is Kotoko's secret weapon. He's the secret weapon Kotoko has, and he was extremely good today. His passing, his movement, his dribbling, his skills, very good, and he scored a wonderful goal to give Kotoko that three points in the first leg. I think he's going to be one of the best players this season, if not the best player this season, if only he can avoid um, injury and stay fit and all that. So I'm expecting a very huge, big second leg in Kumasi. I would like to know your thoughts. What do you think about the game? What do you think about the performance from the boys? What do you think about the new um, players, the debut um, debutants? That's um, Tideku, Yusuf, uh, sorry, Sharif Mohammed, um, what's his name? Stephen Mokwala, uh, Enoch Morrison, yes. Yeah, all those people made their debut today. So what do you think about the debutants? What do you think about the performance? Tell me in the comment section below. I, I'm sure that you guys would have been pleased with that. That was an incredible last-minute winner. And we are hoping to see that in the coming season because that was a very good win. And it was long-awaited because we have been impatient and we wanted to see Kotoko play. And they've played and have given us the drama to win the game at the end. I think for Seydou Zabo, oh, he, he, his style is not different from that of Prosperity playing from the back building, passing the ball instead of shooting the ball, ballooning the ball out, out ballooning the ball out as the <laughs> Ghana Premier League coaches would say. I think uh, his style of play is, is his style of play is pretty okay and I'm very pleased with the results and I'm hoping that the second leg will be better. I'd like to know your thoughts, put on the conversation and tell me what you think. I think that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now and hit the notification bell. Till next time guys, goodbye. Yesterday mommy came to encourage us and she said we should score a beautiful goal as beautiful as her daughter and I must confess mommy is the best person I've ever watched football with you know all the tension she says calm down a last minute goal calm. yes this is time man. yes of course I mean all about we're all over the place but mommy was so calm she understands football so well it kept me, you know, really calm. So, 
we are grateful to have her here again. And I'll give the floor to Mommy to say a few words. Fabulous. The best. <coughs> Fabulous. The greatest. Fabulous. The Congratulations. Thank you. I am more excited than you. <laughs> For me, until the final whistle goes, you cannot say your team has not won. Yeah. I believe in that. When the final whistle goes, then I give up. Yeah. But I was sure that even if it remained only two minutes or one minute to the final whistle, you will score. I was convinced. Yeah. You've done well. You've done well. A victory for the country. I'm telling you something. It is Ghana which has won. It's not for the And I pray that when you go, you do your homework well. Please let me just make a comment that you play well, but one thing I've noticed about soccer is that those who take advantage of the opportunity to come their way, most of the time are the winners. Yes. I want to encourage you, sharpen your prowess at goal scoring yes. and make sure that most of the opportunities you get are translated into countable goals. <laughs> May the Lord go with you. Amen. May you be united with more than before. Amen. Let the whole Ghana know that even if it's there's a last minute goal, it is still a goal. Two matches amical du côté du Maroc, two matches amicaux contre Tama, la de Congo et bien sûr le Comor. Mais en attendant d'abord, ce sont les clubs qui portent les drapeaux du Burkina Faso. Le Rai Club du à l'instant. Et attention à cette percée ghanéenne, la frappe et le but ghanéen, le but ghanéen, le but ghanéen. Oh là 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 là, le hold-up, Isaac Opong qui frappe à la 91e minute au bout du temps additionnel. Cédou Zerbokol applaudit, Amadou Sampo est député et les joueurs du SK. Ah oui, je vois un qui s'est écroulé. Ah là là là, déception, après avoir tenu à la 82e, 92e minute, au bout du temps additionnel, le public ghanéen qui jubile. Oh là 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 là, l'UNC qui a pris un froid, la délégation burkinabé qui ne croit pas. Ah oui, ce débordement de Isaac Opong qui a presque balayé la défense burkinabé du côté sur le flanc gauche, qui a fait un débordement pardon, sur le flanc droit, avant donc d'ajuster Vayou de Saodogo.